Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And as usual, I am so excited to be here with you on a Monday morning. So all of our Facebook uh, friends that are watching us live uh, five days a week, hello, good morning. Um, and then for those of you who haven't seen us before, you're tuning in maybe the first time on YouTube, you can always find us at TTTRV, and you can always find me at RVs Inside Out. Um, so today is so exciting because we're looking at a 2023 Verona LE LRB. This is the first 2023 that we've ever seen with this bunk over cab. But as my video title indicates, I always like to start inside out. So Jody, if you don't mind, go ahead and take her on back. We are gonna talk about some of the new features that we have in the 2023 model. Um, first and foremost, you're looking at this new cabinet color called Woodstock, and it is fantastic. Um, and we also have a new Harbor interior. So here are those grays so many of you have been asking for. Um, I just absolutely love all the color combination that we have here. Uh, we're also looking at a snowdrift exterior today, so you'll see that if you didn't catch it on the thumbnail on the way in. Uh, but this is a bath and a half model. So I'm gonna go ahead and start back here in the restroom. And one of the things I really think that they've done well on today, um, of course, this floor plan is very similar to you know that we've always seen, but look at this beautiful new tile backsplash. And I love this new Corian countertop. So these undermount sinks are also really nice. It's important to note that they're seamless here, so there's no groove in which to have to clean out. Very, very clean, easy, um, just a good look. And then all of the cabinet space. And again, this is just a fantastic execution on the part of Renegade. You know, they've always been the best and they just keep getting better. Um, one of the things that I really, really love about this coach though is that there's so much storage throughout this RV. It's really spectacular. So as you can see, like you could keep all of your toilet paper here, anything that you needed uh, for your uh, black water tanks. Um, on the Renegades, you are gonna have porcelain toilets, which is really nice. You also have a different setting for flush. So you have a, you have a small flush, a full flush, and then you've got an empty setting. Uh, and what that means is you can go ahead and set up your coach with whatever kind of um, tank uh, tank treatment you like. For me, I like to use the pods and I actually will put a little bit of water in, let them dissolve, and then go ahead and flush them a few times just to get that going through. But one of the things that we have that's new this year is that we've got the optional, flu, uh, the optional flow jet macerator system and that's new for 2023. So even better than before. Um, of course, we've got a towel rack here a nice little place for your toilet paper dispenser so it's out of the way you won't accidentally hit your hip on it or your thigh when you go in um, and as usual we've got this beautiful 35 inch radius shower um, one of the features i talk about that i like a lot is this magnetic uh, seal what's nice about that is when you're in here um, if you want to make sure that the hot air is not getting out this closes automatically and then if your kids are really naughty you can actually just latch this and they can't escape and you can just enjoy your entire camping trip. No, I'm kidding. Don't put your kids in the bath or in the shower. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, nice, huge skylight. Plenty of room for those of you who are taller. The soap dish is here uh, on the wand holder. And then this can go up and it pivots so you can set it to whatever height you need. So very adjustable. And then I want to talk about an improvement uh, in this year's faucet system. So as you'll see here, this used to actually be, as opposed to just an on and off, and I'm gonna move because I know I'm gonna spray myself, but um, so as opposed to on and off being a pull, it's a twist now, so if you are sitting on the seat, you won't turn the water off while you're shaving your legs. Uh, in my uh, 2020 20, 36 VSB, that was something I did quite a few times. I would be washing my feet or shaving my legs and I'd lean back and then the water would go off and I'd have to turn it back on. I mean, it's really kind of a first world problem, but it's a nice thing that they made a solution for it. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close this pocket door. One of the things I really like about Renegade is you'll notice that we have snaps here. So this coach is not overtly fancy or opulent. Uh, this is much more of a motor cabin as opposed to a motor home. So 
One of the things I really like about Renegade is if you are looking for something that's really well built, super solid, super solid and durable, this is your RV. With 150 uh, gallons of fresh water, 75 gallon black water tank, and a 75 gallon gray water tank, and incredible storage, uh, you really cannot find anything nicer in the market. Uh, this would be very comparable to a Numar Superstar if you're looking for a cross sell for a quality uh, that would be similar and a look that would be different. Now please note that this towel or this uh, hanging rod here is duplicated down here below. So you actually have two closets, but you can remove this. So if you're somebody who's going to be using this to maybe go snowmobiling um, and maybe you uh, want to have like your your bibs with you or maybe you're um, a dirt bike rider and you've got your suits that you need to bring with you, you have the ability to hang longer things here. Perhaps you're a pageant lady and you want to go to you know, your shows and bring your ball gowns, you can do that. I mean, whatever your, whatever your fancy might be. Um, okay, so here we have full extension, really nice drawers. Again, this new maple color um, is going to be called Woodstock. And the new name of the Woodstock cabinets is going to be, uh-oh, hold on. I've got quite a few new things to talk about. So this new cabinet style is called Windsor. Uh, so new for 2023, a little bit different than the 2022. Uh, here also you'll have your Blu-ray player and then we have all of our HDMI cords ready to rock and roll. So however you like to watch your TV. Uh, these are all 4K smart TVs by Samsung. We do have two 110 outlets here as well as an emergency outlet. And you also have your MCD uh, day and night shades. As you can see, you can get it nice and dark in here. Um, again, this is a harbor finish. I really, really love this new, very subtle um, and, you know, just not ornate. You know, one of the things that, that Renegade does is they make things so that you can make this as ornate or as plain as you'd like. You can dress this coach. It's very, very neutral in terms of its overall settings. Um, as always, tons of uh, overhead storage here and behind you a really nice tufted headboard cross ventilation for both windows, uh, just greatly executed. Now you'll note you do have a control panel here to operate things like your ceiling fan or your reading lights, uh, but also please note that you have the ability to control this entire RV with your phone. So we're gonna take a look at what this Firefly system does. Uh, the Mira app is fantastic. Uh, my daughter's actually tagging along. She's kind of coming to work with mom on a, on a nice day during the summer where she doesn't have school. And so we're out there this, this afternoon, I'm sorry, this morning, getting ready for our video. And I'm opening up, you know, the awnings and the slides with the phone. And of course, she's just completely awestruck. But for somebody who's out there camping, when you get somewhere late at night, if you're not looking to wake everybody up when you want to get, you know, settled in, it's really nice just to be able to pull your phone out, walk outside and open your slide and know you're not going to run into a tree or, you know, hit the camper, hit your car, whatever it is that might be parked in the wrong spot. Um, so it's a really great feature. Uh, so I just wanted to mention here, we've got beautiful nightstands on either side. And then you also have a USB port as well as a C and two one tens. So that's completely new for this year. Uh, and then Jody, if you want to go ahead and zoom in on that other one. Uh, so on both sides, you'll find again, you've got the C port. Uh, so you've got four, three different types of charging application available to you. Um, and then underneath here, you'll see we have our two 75 gallon freshwater tanks in very easy access for winterization. And then down below against the front here, you'll see that we have not only our courtesy light, but also our attachment for our, uh, for our inner vac system. So this RV does have central vac, which is a very nice feature as well. Again, look at all of this storage. So four huge drawers, all full extension, all soft clothes, all very well made. And you'll look at here on the LE, you'll have all of your dovetail finishes. Um, these coaches are made in Elkhart, Indiana. Um, by a very large, uh, by a very large Amish population that takes a huge pride in the craftsmanship of these RVs. And I love the way that these doors open all of the way. And this placement is so nice because this washer and dryer hallway is completely accessible when the RV is closed. And one of the reasons that's so important is because if you are in motion, you can run your generator, you can do all of your laundry, 
and your bed will be tucked in here, but you would be able to actually set your folded clothes on the bed while you're driving down the road. Uh, one of the things that's different about my RV versus, um, versus my Renegade is that I have to actually open my slide to be able to change my laundry over. So I really do appreciate uh, being able to do all of my laundry while we're in motion because if you're on the road for eight hours, what's really nice about that is you can knock that chore out and have that completely done so that you can just get to camping, drinking beer, and hanging out by the bonfire when you get to uh, your next destination. Okay, so this is one of my favorite mid baths in the entire industry. Um, so first of all, great idea to make use of this deeper space, but to keep it simple. Um, for those of us that like to put down trays so that we don't have anything that gets frozen, explode, and that will actually go into a tray as opposed to going all over the, the surface of your cabinets, this is a very easy space to work with, nice and big. I love the fixtures that they have here, but I just absolutely love this space. This is such a nice space here. Um, so first of all, storage here, but here is all of your all of your fuse panels. So these used to be in our kitchen. So it's really nice that they're here. And for you guys who love to geek out on your power supplies, how is this? Here's your device list. You can see your solar charge. You can check all your stuff. You can see what you're running, how much is coming in, what you're using. This is like, a guys, this is better than having a magazine in the loo. You have the best thing ever, all of your electronics to geek out on. And if you brought your phone in here, you could double geek while you're in your office. So anyway, I just thought that that was fantastic. Uh, again, tons of storage space. And you know, where there is places that you shouldn't be, they actually put this little cabinet in here. So you're not gonna be, you know, tripping over the faucet or the hose lines or whatever that's behind there. So just super nice. Again, two one tens right here. And keep in mind, on your phone, you can control all of your fan speed, uh, all of your water pumps and your panel lights. But if you don't have them, they've given you these nice little control panels throughout the coach. And then once again, fantastic solid doors like really really nice super solid really thick um, just heavy you know one of the things that renegade does better than everybody else is cabinets there's just no one who compares to them when it comes to cabinetry um, and you don't know where all these pockets are but there are so many pockets throughout the coach and that's so nice because you can really hear there's a complete difference in, uh, in the cabin area, when I close this door, it is a really big sound deadening door, which is nice, especially between the bathroom and the living space. Um, I love this above. So for those of you who have fine furry friends, it's a great pet stop. It's a great place for leashes and water dishes. For those of you with children, it's a great place for the uh, handcuffs. No, I'm just kidding. It's a great place for all of your uh, bug spray, you know, suntan lotion, whatever it might be, umbrellas, you know, so just super nice on your way out the door. Um, I will talk about this magnetic door in a minute because I really like the way they've done this, this cabinet. But I wanted to show you here, there is this fantastic, beautiful and elegant backlighting throughout this coach and you'll see that all through here. So all of this LED lighting, of course you've got your soft, you know, soft ceiling with your LED puck lights, but all of these like little details that allow you to have a really um, soft, you know, glow throughout the cabinet at, or throughout your cabinet at night are just so nice. And then of course you have again, all of this, uh, all of this storage space. And this is really where you just don't have any competition in the segment with Renegade because Renegade just doesn't mess around. They make it really simple for storage. So you're looking here at over six feet. Um, so this is over 12 feet of overhead storage. This is so much. If you want to put, um, what, what I did is I used Tupperwares and I labeled them from A to Z. So here we're looking at 17 inches deep. Um, so you can label your Tupperwares uh, to be, you know, A would be for, you know, any kind of, um, I don't know, appliances, whatever you might be. You might have batteries under B. You might have, uh, you know, your table settings for outside under T, but you can put whatever label you want and you just put them in alphabetically and you can just kind of go through and find whatever you need super quick. It's just an amazing uh, amount of space up here to be organized. And it's just so nice. 
Another thing I really like about this is if you are sitting on the couch, relaxing, we have all of our beautiful new furniture. This does have the optional fireplace. Um, but you know, when you're sitting here, it's like, okay, so I could put my cocktail down here. If I was watching a movie, I could put my cocktail down here. Uh, this RV was equipped with the optional on or uh, ottoman as well. But if you want a place to put a bowl of guacamole and maybe some chips, you know, maybe some ceviche, whatever it is that you're having as a snack while you're camping, it's really nice just to have a table back here that you can set things down on. I mean, it's just super, super cool. Um, and again, this harbor interior is really beautiful. Um, for the trifold uh, sofa that you get in the Verona, this is a really nice upgrade on the LE. Instead of having a trifold, you get a really cool full queen size in an actual mattress. It's very easy to deploy, as you can see. So plenty of room up here. So if it was your, let's say you wanted to bring your family, like you wanted to bring the littles and your kids. Your daughter and son could have plenty of room to camp here. You could put the littles here and then wait until you see the bunk over cab area. Now when we bring people, it's important to understand also that we do have three seat belts here behind this couch. So there underneath, you can see where those are bolted into the frame of the coach. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. It's really difficult. Let me show you how hard it is. You basically just fold it up, snap that into place, slide it in, and bam. I mean, it just doesn't get any easier. And if, for those of you who watch my videos regularly, I'm a really big fan of a single cushion. Why? Okay, if I wanna put my single cushion away, I can just put it right here. I don't have to stack it somewhere. I can stick it somewhere really easily out of the way without having to stack it to take up a whole bunch of table space. So I really like a single cushion. All right, how cool is that? What a nice couch. And if you don't believe me, come try it for yourself. But this is such a comfy, soft, really luxurious feeling. There's a great handle to this synthetic material. Um, I know that everyone goes, oh, is that leather? We don't have leather in RVs. We would be crazy to have leather in RVs. You can just take a little bit of uh, palm olive and some, soft, some, some water, mix it up, get a sponge out, clean up whatever they've gotten on the couch. Makes it super simple when you're camping because camping's not clean, it's dirty, it's, you know, outdoors. That's what, we're, that's what we're doing. We're, you know, camping in the outdoors. Let's be real, we're, we're glamping in the outdoors, but whatever, we'll call it camping. All right, so storage behind this massive television is not only a massive television, but it's a massive storage. Look at that. It's so cool. So when I was showing my daughter around here, she's like, is that a sound bar? And I'm like, not only is that a sound bar, Stella, that's a subwoofer. Holy moly. How cool is that? Um, and she's like, well, that cabinet looks pretty hard to get into. So here's that mechanism. I just pull that down. That's what holds the TV in place. It's a pretty big, thick bolt. It's not going to come loose. It's attached to a pretty thick uh, steel plate right here. But what's cool about this is, first of all, I can change my viewing angle because I could turn my front seats around. Everyone could watch this TV. But I have a great cabinet here. And they're so smart. They made it open towards the center of the TV. So you would have access to the other side of that huge storage area back there. I just love this. Um, now. As usual, you know, there's so much to cover in these coaches. I really just wanted to get out the, and make sure I'm going the right way. Oh, do I want to go this way? No, I want to go this way and then this way. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not going to break your TV, Ron. All right. So I really wanted to talk about this here. So this little guy here next to this, what are the two benefits of these two uh, different items? Heat. In both cases, it's for heat. So this guy is gonna be running a hydronic heating system. So that hydronic heating system has a tube of hot liquid going through your tankless hot water heater. This RV has no propane, there's no furnace, there's no uh, water tank that you have to heat up. It's a tankless hot water heater. And your furnace is either running off of 50 amp because you're plugged in and you're running off of electric or you're running off of your batteries. This RV has three lithium batteries. So this has not only the lithium battery upgrade, but it also has that additional lithium ion battery. So huge, huge battery storage. 
So you could be running your, uh, your heater there. You could be running your fireplace, which is also all electric, um, off of your batteries or being plugged in. Or with that little vent, you could actually be running what's called a burner system, and you could be running your tankless hot water heater off of your diesel fuel. Now you have a 100 gallon fuel capacity, right? So you've got two 50 gallon saddle tanks. They do bleed over, so you could fill uh, one or the other, but it would take a long time. You'd wanna fill them separately, or I'm sorry, as, at the same time while you're, while, you're, while you're filling up. But that diesel tank, uh, you can actually use to run your hydronic heat. So this is very much an all season coach. Uh, there's 12 volt heat strips on the uh, gray and uh, black water tanks. As you saw, the, the fresh water tank is actually underneath the bed, helping it uh, to be more weatherproof. So a really, really cool system for you that are trying to get out and do more of an all season type of camping situation. Really, really, really nice features. So, so everyone, if you heard that door open, that was Cherish. She's behind the scenes. Um, she is, uh, just so you know, Jody is on the camera. Cherish is running behind the scenes. This is a really big production. So if you like our videos and you appreciate them, please share them, repost them. Thumbs up, make comments. If I said something stupid, I apologize, they're live. I have to know a lot of stuff. I'm pretty smart, but not the smartest. Um, but please, you know, help us get out there. Help us with your popularity. Help us to get in front of other people to help educate them about RVing. Okay, so we talked about underneath the sink here. What we didn't talk about is that tank, tankless hot water heater is gonna give you fantastic uh, amount of very hot water, not just kind of hot water, very hot water, to your beautiful undermount sink. Uh, these little covers here have some stickers on them. These stickers are talking about that app that I was telling you about. It's called Vega Touch. This is the app that you would use. It's called Mira, and it's really, really fantastic. And then what you can see there, so you can see this is True Tank is our new leveling monitor. This is gonna tell you how much fresh water, uh, gray water, and black water you have in your tank along with all of the other controls. You could start your generator, you could stop your generator, you could turn off all your lights, you can open your slides, you can open your awnings, you can level your coach. You can do all of those things. Okay, so great overhead storage, right? Um, really hard to find in a uh, Super C, to be honest with you. But what's super cool about that is we used to have our electric panel here, and now we just have a ton of storage. So really, really nice that they were able to move all of the electronics into that center panel. I love these full extension drawers. Um, there's some touch-up paint for you. Again, this is a snowdrift exterior. Um, all of your remotes, like all of the remotes, but the most important one, of course, is going to be the one that's operating that sound bar. So really, really love that. Um, just super nice to have um, such a good sound system in this, not just for watching movies, but for listening to Jimmy, you know? So here's your true induction uh, cooktop. One of the nicest things about this uh, true induction cooktop is that you can get really precise temperatures at regardless of altitude. So uh, you don't have to worry about what the oxygen level is with like you would with propane. Uh, and these get so hot so fast. Um, you can boil water in about a third of the time as you could with an open flame. And then again, here is that whole beautiful new dark backsplash. This is just absolutely sexy. And then on top of it, uh, the Verona um, 40 LRB has the most spectacular pantry. Look at all of that storage. And again, I just love the way Renegade does things. It's so nice. Slide that into place. It's locked. You don't have to worry about it coming open. Um, you know, on the Essex, there's a bar that comes out and like locks it when you engage into drive. Not with Renegade, they just make it simple. It's either locked or it's not. No questions asked. Is it open? It's blue. If it's locked, it's red. It's open. It's blue. It's 18 cubic feet of refrigeration, huge freezer, ice maker. Um, one of the things I really like about this is they took the handles off in 2022. They've continued that this year. And then this is a nice refrigerator because it's, you know, it's not fancy. It doesn't have like a meat drawer, but what it does have is a ton of unadulterated space. You can make it whatever you want. It's got big door storage. These are adjustable. 
But for this area here, if you're going to be using, you know, for me, I use containers so things don't slide around. We get a lot of people who put the little bars here. But yeah, you can really kind of make the space your own depending on how long you're going to go camping. Okay, so stop going over there, Jody. You're not allowed to show them that yet. All right. Again, USB-C and 110 and USB. So you got your type C chargers on both sides here, new for 2023, hugely faster when it comes to charging. Um, and if you are curious as to what the MSRP is, I have it right here. Text me, send me an email. I cannot put it out over the internet. And the reason that is, is because some of the places where we advertise don't allow us to. And this video is broadcast more than one place. So I know we get a lot of criticism for that, but it's just going to be what it is. All right. So You'll see these cushions here are um, to make this into a bed. They do indicate how much room. I love this new locking system. You push down on it and then it's open. Super simple. But that's how long that storage space is. Holy macaroni. Okay, for all of those who hate my measuring tape, I'm gonna get it out anyway. Um, that is so much storage underneath. And a lot of you buy RVs from me and you come out and you already have all your stuff mailed. So this is over 44 inches on the inside. So almost four feet, holy mackerel, that's so nuts. And then on the inside here, we are looking at just about uh, 10 and a half, almost 11 inches uh, across. And then in terms of the height of the opening, I would say you're safe to about eight inches. So there's some measures for you who don't like my measures, I'm sorry. Um, I have so many people who write to me who buy from me because they do. So if you recall, we have three seat belts there. We have two seat belts here, right? So now we're at five. We have two here. How am I sleeping seven? That's how I'm sleeping seven. New in 2023, we have bunk over cab feature with the, with the window. Um, I absolutely love, love, love let the sun shine in. Um, you can take these cushions out if you want. If you took these cushions out, you'd see that you have, oh here, I'm gonna crawl up here, Jody. I'm gonna move this cushion out of the way just to show underneath what you have for storage. So you have this really nice solid material underneath. So you can use this to put bins up here. You could put paddle boards up here. Um, I was just talking to a client this weekend uh, his wife takes her uh, wheelchair from time to time with them. I said, this is a great option. You could very easily fit a wheelchair up here, whatever you like. And if you want to get it out of the way, it's super simple. Just get it out of the way. It goes right out of the way. Again, type C, USB, 110, nice lights, great place for your kids to keep their stuff. Uh, so you can have the grandkids, your children, they have their own television up here. This little insignia is super nice. They have their own shades that they can draw. They have their own ventilation up here. So there's actually vents up here. Speakers are right here. But this is so exciting. Um, I sell so many uh, 40 VBHs. I sell so many. Um, and one of the reasons people like that 40 VBH is for sleeping accommodations. We've never had that available in LE. So um, if you're not excited about it, I'll go ahead and pick up all of the excitement for you because I am super thrilled. Um, someone asked me, what are these roller things for? I don't know if I ever show them from, do you ever get to see these, Jody? Yeah, come over here and just take a little zoom in. So these little roller things just change the elevation of this armrest. So I can just tighten it up so that it stays a little bit higher or a little bit lower. That's all those do. Now these do turn around, they are heated. So you see there's your heat. Um, right here, you see your equalizer leveling system. Um, for this video, I did not level the coach, but I did dump the rear. So I dumped the airbags because we are tilted forward pretty good. Um, I do want to just show you briefly. Go ahead and let her get done beeping. Um, oh, low air. Here she goes. She's airing up for us. Uh, so I wanted to show you just briefly our camera system. As you can see, super clear, high quality camera displayed here on your Garmin. I really like that. That sound that you heard, that was the lane tracking package.
So this does have lane tracking and mobile eye. This is going to be your Wabco system that's going to allow you to uh, both um, put the cruise control on, but not only put the cruise control on, you can follow people within a uh, safe following distance. And this little display here will change colors. So if it's green, you're good. If it's yellow, you're getting a little close. And if it's red, it's like, hey, dude, you got to back up. So it's really good at communicating with you without you having to read anything. It's just a color, uh, color illumination. And then you'll see here, we also have our tire pressure monitoring system. And of course, you've got your left, rear, and right camera system so you can see all of your cameras. Uh, you'll see Cherish has opened those doors for us. Okay, if you want some air, we're gonna have to turn you on. So we'll go ahead and turn her on. Uh, power windows, power locks. You can turn the lane, gen or the lane alert on and off. If you don't have your, um, your, at your, your jake brake or your engine brake engaged, you won't have high or low. So this is actually on high, medium, and low, and then off. That's different than last year. We just had high and low and there was no on button. There we go. So we've got, oh, there we go. A little more, a little more air, please. All right, there she goes. So she's all happy. She's all aired up. Okay, now let's just talk about the dash. Super simple to read. You've got your lane tracking is telling you it's on. You've got your odometer. This is a really nice feature of this RV. It's not digital. It's just like a good old fashioned M2 106 chassis with a 20,000 pound towing hitch, 1,150 foot pounds of torque and an 8.9 liter Cummins engine. Uh, windshield wipers are right here. And then you can see where you have all of your cruise control settings right here, your lights, here's your power mirrors. Uh, so super, super easy, very clean dash. Um, and then this little guy here, if you want to know what that does, it just locks up that rear diff, giving you better uh, traction. So if you're trying to get out of a tough spot, you can do that. Um, of course, I, I, I honked a horn this week on another manufacturer. I won't name any names. It was a really mini horn. I would be embarrassed. I'm just saying, like, I'd be like, oh, I'm not going to honk that thing. People will laugh at me. The one thing I will say, um, that is missing on all of our super C's for girls like me that wanted to be able to do their lip gloss. Um, at the stoplight, of course, never while driving. Where's my mirror? This is totally not right. Like, I need a mirror there. Uh, this is where you would put your Cobra in there if you wanted to have a CB installed. It has a CB antenna. This is a great place to keep your wallet and your cell phone. I don't know, not a lot to like really go over up here because this is such a simple dash. It's such a nice, nice uh, way to go. Oh, this is your trailer brake. So if you're wondering what that is, that's for that's to control your trailer. Um, and one of the things that's really nice about that is it's integrated. Um, my superstar did not come with a trailer brake. And I think we realized that like 24 hours before our last road trip where we were bringing our 18 foot trailer on the road with us, like, I don't know, 4,000 miles. And so I had to install it myself, but I did thanks to the help um, of one of my colleagues. Uh, I did my own trailer brake, but really nice to have one that's integrated that you don't have to worry about, you know, it's working. Um, okay. So I think. Now that we've seen um, how easy it is to stand up and get down, um, if you're concerned about the step, there is a lip here. If you want to know how, how tall the lip is, um, the Superstar is flat, but it has a drop in the front. Uh, some people get really hung up on this. If you do, I'm sorry. It's eight inches. It's really not a big deal. Even if you have like a bad knee or bad hips, you could just use the seats to easily step in. It's just like lifting your foot. It's not really high, but that's just my own opinion. I you know we all have opinions and then we all know what they say about opinions. Um, okay. So let's go see outside. Let me make sure I'm paired. I'm going to look at some bays. Mira, Mira on the wall. Okay. So, uh, one of the things I think that I really like about this door this year is I like the fact that I can actually open it. And then if I want to open it and close it, it's magnetic. It just magnets. It's like super simple. I love magnetic. That makes me so happy. Um, and then of course it's nice. I've got great steps and I can close this so the bugs don't get in. Jody, come on out. I know it's a little bit dark, so you can't quite see it, but I love the way the Verona, can you see it at all? Can you see where the, it glows? So it gives you a little nightlight, says Verona Ellie. Anyway, I swear that's glowing. It's just really sunny out here today. Because we're in Colorado, we get more sun 
per day than anybody else. Um, okay, so I really like this. So this is a big differentiating feature between an LE and a regular Verona. Super nice that you can actually uh, get in and out of your coach with a keypad. Makes a nice difference. You don't have to worry about, you know, um, you don't have to worry about bringing your keys. If you're gonna go, you know, I don't know, paddle boarding or fishing, you don't have to worry about dropping them in the... Okay, so we're gonna look at this little guy here. So we're on the slides. And so you'll see right slide front, right slide rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit retract, maybe. Am I on the wrong side? Oh, I am. There we go. So what's really nice about the slide system is not only can you control it from outside so you can see what you're doing, but you can also see it's gonna clear the doors. So the way that these doors are set is that they're set, so first of all, they have double latches on them, so they're really nice. They seal really tight when you close them. They're really great. Um, but it's really nice that you can actually just go ahead and put your slides in and out after you've arrived. You don't have to think about having them pop open, so we like that directional sense. Um, I do get a lot of people who ask me how big this, this uh, largest slide is, or this largest door is for this, um, for this basement. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure that right now. Uh, this is our first 2023 this is 58 inches uh, that's the largest door and then the depth of that 58 inch uh, se section is just under 40 inches so really deep there is about a nine inch uh, overhang here so it's not the same height the whole way through uh, but the height that it is out here at the entrance is just about 23 inches so really nice uh, under basement storage so here you'll note that we do have our air chuck so that's of course going to be long enough to air up all of your tires and you've got your slide locks there and then here we were talking earlier about that hydronic heat so one of the things that's really nice about an LE is that instead of having the Aquahot 250D you've got the Aquahot 450D so we really like that Aquahot 450D it's a big difference maker for us um, and uh, just giving you a little bit better control over your hot water, giving you a little better hot water on demand. And again, this is going to be powering your hydronic heat. It's going to be your hot water heater. Um, and it's also um, going to be the thing that you need in the winter time to not uh, have uh, your heat pumps running because with that hydronic heat, this will heat uh, up to whatever temperature it is where your heat pumps in your ACs are only going to heat up to about 30 degrees, 32 degrees, they stop blowing in warm air. This system will continue working even in cold temperatures. Um, one of the things I really like about Renegade, um, now first of all, oh shoot, door's locked, I can't get in there. It's okay, so it's really easy to get in and out of this, but I like these steps. Um, so on my Superstar, I've got a really pretty step. I don't really want a pretty step, I want a nice durable metal step that's gonna get the crap off the bottom of my shoes, which is right here. Here's your uh, fueling station. We are gonna go ahead and open this so that we can get in here later. Uh, later. And then as you can see, nice big chrome convex mirrors. Here's that side marker camera. You do have a diamond shield at the front of this coach as well. Again, this is a snowdrift paint scheme. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And since we're outside now, we don't need the air conditioner. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my power setting. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. And I just turned off my generator. How cool is that? So. Like I said, you can really control everything that you want with this little app. Um, I've gotten pretty good at it. Oh, you know, I don't know what happened with this, Jody. Was this, was it windy? Do you think it's windy? Just a little breeze. So this is not sensing like how many miles per hour the wind is blowing, folks. This is just like, it's got kind of like a bump sensor. Like if it feels it bumping around, it's going to pull in. Uh, if you want to know if this is reliable, I would say 100% not. Pull your uh, shade in if you think that it might catch some wind while you're missing because if there's not enough time for that uh, automatic sensor to retract you could find yourself in a position where all of a sudden oh awnings oh little booger my phone gets a little too hot there it goes uh, you can find yourself in a setting in a situation where you have um, not put your awning in and now it's on the side of i-25 uh, next to your campground which would be bad so yeah, so yes, it does have a wind sensor. Should you rely on it? Absolutely not. Is it gonna work? Yeah, it obviously just worked for us. So that's your full extension. As you can see, it's giving me a lot of shade. 
Um, look at the size of this TV. Again, these are all 4K smart TVs. I'm a really big uh, fan of adding Cradle Point. This does have the Wi-Fi system offered by Renegade, um, but Cradle Point just gives you all that much more coverage. And then another feature that you can use these days is now you can use Starlink. So I've actually got a few clients that are using both. Um, I call them my guinea pigs. I ask them about download speeds. If you'd like more information on that, I would be happy to provide it to you. Um, I think I mentioned that this had three 175 watt solar panels on it, uh, but this thing's pretty much loaded. Here's your ottoman. Uh, what I think is really funny about this is that there's only one ottoman. I think they should have probably ordered two. Uh, we'll have to fix that. Uh, Renegade has gone to a 19 and a half by 19 and a half ottoman as opposed to the long uh, oblong one that they had pre previously. If you're not aware of it, it's a change between 22 and 23 and it makes a huge difference. Uh, here in the back, this is a great place for an Outlander fire pit. You've also got your porcelain tile and you've got your inner back hose attachments. Really, really nice here. Um, I love, we're very proud of our Verona LE, really nice decals here. Uh, you've got a two-piece uh, fiber class end cap here. The benefit of the two-piece is that if you do have a little uh-oh down here, you don't have to replace this big uh-oh. You only have to replace the little uh-oh. Um, again, we have a 20,000 pound towing uh, capacity here. Your Voyager camera system and all your plugins are right here. Very easy to get to, you know, very classy, nicely integrated. LED lights, of course, with, throughout. This is important because it actually enhances the amount of speed that you have to light for stopping time. If someone's behind you, so they don't run into you. It would probably be unfortunate to run into you anyway with that big ass hitch in the back, but you know, whatever. Uh, there's your overhead camera. Great for backing up parking. We always give you a little 30 amp adapter so you can run one AC if you need to. You've got your power uh, reel right here. 50 foot, uh, I'm sorry, 30 foot power reel. Not as long as the 50 foot that they give you on the Superstar, uh, but my Superstar is located at the front of my 40 foot coach. So by having 36 feet in the back, I actually have more cord to get to whatever I'm getting to as opposed to less. And most of your, most of your campsites are gonna have the cord towards the back of the RV. So I think this is actually a better setup. We do have our surge protector in here. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but throughout the coach, we have, first of all, a ton of 110 outlets all over the place, but there's always all these little grommets that you can open so you can put things through and then have your bay or your, uh, your basement door still closed. So there's your 8,000 kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator. Um, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and go back to slides and we're gonna go to, here we go, right slide front. So, Again, really nice exterior windows here for cross ventilation. That's of course where your bed is. So you do have that. We do have little side markers here so people can see that these slides are extended, which is good. Um, but it's just so nice to be able to open and close these without having to be in the coach. Uh, you also have an exterior start feature and then you've got a really nice, instead of it being digital, it's just a nice little countdown on your generator telling your gen hours. This one has less than 10 hours on it. Um, and I probably put two of those on there. So you'll see here, um, this is of course a 40 foot. Um, it, it does not have the tag. We get into the tags when we get into that uh, 112 chassis with the twin screw, but these are the American X racing wheels. Again, this has got a 20,000 pound towing capacity and I have dumped my rear bag so that they're really far down so that my coach is more level. That's going to allow me to use my equalizer leveling system without having to have those front jacks so fully extended. That was a feature that we changed in 2022. So standard now, of course, in 23. Uh, I love the way that they actually do the, um, the etching here with the water jet that actually tells you renegade, black tank dump, gray tank dump. Here's your city water. Here's for your cable. Here's tank fill. Um, and then you can see there's your hose reel. You do have a power water hose. Um, and then a whole house water filter. Uh, this hose here is, I don't know, it's not very nice. I would get a really nice, you know, gorilla hose that has the clear, clear elbows, but that's great in a pinch because if you do have a hose with all the slunkies and stuff like that, and it gets a hole in it, ew, gross. You have a backup right there, but I would use that as a backup and I would be prepared to buy your own hose uh, when you get here. Um, okay, so we talked about our new, uh, we talked about our new system here. 
So our new system is just a double macerator. You have a macerator toilet regardless, but now you've got something that'll actually suck out the poop, which is great, it goes faster, and um, hopefully you can avoid those unslightly poop pyramids. Gray and black water tanks are of course underneath here. And then it's just amazing that they have so much base storage on the uh, driver side. Of course, you know, we've got party in the front and business in the back, but you can still have quite a bit of uh, storage in here. And then as you can see here, this whole system here is controlling your solar and all of your charging for your lithium ion batteries. So this is a great uh, central hub, huge improvement. Um, so one of the things that we've learned through having lithium ion batteries is that if you don't have a system that's controlling where it's feeling overheated or overcharged, you may have a complete shutdown. So for those of you that are out there installing your own lithium ion systems, God bless you. It's taken us quite a bit of work to figure out how to make this run seamlessly. If it's an option that you would like, I would encourage you to order it from the factory because the whole entire coach is completely uh, controlled with these two systems and they've been really well thought through. But if you feel like saving some money and doing it on your own, just understand it might be more difficult than you'd expect. Again, this is that additional uh, lithium ion battery. Uh, so you don't just have the two, you've got that third lithium ion battery. That is going to give you a total of 780 amp hours of uh, battery storage, which is pretty fantastic. Here's your chassis batteries on the left here. And then um, let's take a look here. We're going to look for our air chuck is right here. That's what I was looking for. So this is where you would plug in that air hose that was on the other side to air up your tires. Of course, we've got a nice little LED light in here for you. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and hope that this door is open. It might not be. This is live TV. So Murphy's Law would be that it's probably not. Um, but, oh, yes, one can always hope. OK, so for those of you who are struggling to find where your air is, it's right here. So this is your air seat, and this is the controller for that. So that's what's going to raise this up. Here's your swivel control right here. And then this is your chassis disconnect. Your house disconnect is right at the doorway. Your chassis disconnect is here. And as I mentioned, one of the best things about Freightliner is all of these handles to get in. There's a handle down here. There's a handle here. There's a handle here. And for you uh, that might be challenged getting in and out of a regular RV, uh, it actually is easier to get in the front doors of your Super C, and that's a huge advantage. You have three doors here versus a Class A. Uh, now your DEF tank is here, your other fueling stations here. Um, you've got a fairly small DEF tank. I would say DEF, by the way, does not have a long shelf life. So towards the end of your camping season, you might not want to top off. But really, if you're going to drive through truck stop, you can top off with DEF at just about every stop you make. Um, and then it's always fresh and you don't have to worry about running out. It's going to last you several thousand miles, so it's not like you have to. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to show is you've got your positive and negative jump points down here. And if you're going to change out like your water separator, if you want to do your own oil changes, of course, this is one of the big benefits that you're going to have to a Super C um, is that you have such great access. Again, this is that 8.9 liter Cummins ISL. This is going to give you 360 horsepower, which is really kind of a non-issue. What's important is it's got 1,150 foot-pounds of torque versus that one point, uh, or that, sorry, that 6.7 liter ISB. So there's a lot of competition in the market. You don't have to spend LA money and have porcelain floors. You can get a Verona, a Verona 40 VBH, a 36 VSB. You can get a coach that's not as opulent or nice as the LE, not the luxury edition, if you will. Uh, but you can still get that 8.9 liter Cummins, and that's the difference maker. That's where it's really hard to shop against Renegade and Newmar, is that this is the engine that you really want to have if you're going up and over passes and you're towing any kind of cargo. You want to start at that 8.9 and then only get bigger. And of course, we get bigger. If you've got more cash, let me know. I'd be happy to sell you a Classic or get you into an Icon or an XL. Uh, there's a lot of options. The Supreme Air. Um, but for those of us that are looking to tow you know, a nice big trailer, you know, our car without having to get in the slow lane with our hazards on. This engine's going to do it for you. It's a fantastic offering. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of room between you and that seat. So for people who are worried about driving perhaps in the, um, you know, in the flats up in uh, Wyoming and there's lots of deer, certainly you would have 
a little bit more room between you and anyone else who wanted to get in front of you with this huge engine up front. That being said, it does also encroach on your living space. So there's benefits to class A's and to super C's. If you'd like to talk through some of those things, turning radius, off-road capacity, places that you can go, um, let me know. I sell a lot of both. Um, I own a Superstar. I've owned a Renegade. Um, I absolutely love both Numar and Renegade. I'd be happy to walk you through some of the nuances and differences. Uh, my name again is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest in Frederick, Colorado. My number is 303-562-8659. I would love to get you camping and on the road in the right RV for you. Just reach out and let me know how I can help. Thanks so much.